Snoop Dogg, The Smurfs, The Walking Dead, and Care Bears, all on the same webpage. What is happening? I'll tell you what's happening. The Sandbox Alpha Season 2 is live. Let's play. Hello, puppets. Welcome back to the Metaverse. I am Meta Puppet. That's Louis sleeping in the corner. Today, we're going to play some Sandbox. So let's jump right into it. Oh, got a lot of people here lined up. Collect voxelite. Find voxelite scattered across the land. All right. So that's me. Um, I went with green. It was like a Star Trek, like some alien thing. Or the Incredible Hulk. He was green. So uh, this is it. So this is, here's a ticket. A little question mark here. And there are like so many ways to earn raffle tickets. People all around the main plaza will tell you more. Why do I want raffle tickets? Seriously, the more raffle tickets you accumulate during season two, the more chances you will have to win the season two alpha pass. Okay, thanks. Season two alpha pass is on Thursday, March 31st at 7 p.m. UTC. How do you get tickets? Ask around the lobby to find out. All right. So let me ask around. Hey friend, here's a tip. You can earn up to 500 raffle tickets if you complete enough quests. That's a lot of raffle tickets. Look for yellow exclamation marks inside the Alpha Season 2 experiences. So collect voxelite. So 0 or 40. So let's grab... I guess this is a voxelite. Yes, so that's one. All right, so I gotta get 40 of these things. Welcome visitor, the gallery has a special selection of NFTs. During your visit, you can expect, inspect NFTs, scarcity, tiers, description. And obviously, of course, is a dance floor because dancing in these virtual worlds is like the cool thing to do. There's another... Uh, Voxelite. Rick Grimes, isn't that the um the Walking Dead guy? There's a Smurf over there. Dead Mouse. Alright, and then you hold T to bring up the dances and Meta Puppet dances the burn the floor. Alright, yeah, that's pretty cool. There's also the hop hop. Isn't that the uh, Gungam style? I didn't know it was called hop hop. Hop hop. I have two hop hops. So that's. And then burn the floor. All right. So I've got two dance moves. I got to dance with the Smurf. Smurf me your best moves. Smiling Smurf? That's not a real, that's not a Smurf. Like a Smurf name. Like jokey, greedy. A smiling Smurf. That's generic. But people of a certain age get very excited by Smurfs. So if you see one, just dance next to it. I am excited about the, the Smurf experience. Let's check out the rest of this place here. Let's go this way. So these voxelites, um, what does it say? Portal to, to way to Exalia. Ready for a hike. Experience the magnificence of nature on this pathway. Now, I don't want to go anywhere yet uh i don't want to take any portals yet since this is my first time here in the lobby and it looks like you know um it looks like the uh voxelites are just a way to get you to explore every corner of the lobby so i'll do this for a bit and i see the uh exclamation mark guy here so let me see 
Welcome to the Alpha Lobby. This is the perfect starting point for your journey. There's so many incredible places to visit here. Do you want me to show you land? All right, the four points of interest are oracles, scientists, heroes, and path to the stars. So I'll check them out. And so that's so now this is a new objective. So this is a, a second quest then. So I got to find these four areas. And it says zero of 10 quests completed. However, I believe there's only six quests available at the moment. So today's day one of the season two alpha. So depending on when you're watching this, there might be all 10 available. Yeah, uh, no, I don't want a portal yet. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg private party pass, sandbox NFT view and marketplace all right so i guess you can just you can just that'll take you to the marketplace and you can uh you can buy the the stuff there so here's the oracles faction oracles area okay so that's one point of interest so can't really do it. Can't, there's nothing to click on here or anything. So let me speak to this robot. Hello, visitor. You see that tree man there? Don't tell him, but he's an NFT. He is? Yeah. And you know what? Sometimes I wonder if I am too. Well, I hate to break it to you, buddy. Greetings, traveler. Here you may purge the stress of the city and breathe untainted air. Enter Oracle's village and rediscover your deep connection with nature. So I guess that's just showing me the area. There's nothing nothing else to do like there with that quest. So this is just these quests, you know, just making you explore the landscape here. Oh, what's that? Is that ice? Oh, the heroes area. Oh, I thought it was like a sword, uh, sword in the stone type thing, only like a sword in the ice, but it's not a sword. What is this? Scorton Heroes Pillar. Cold as eternal snow on the outside, hot as embers on the inside. A little some fish drying on the uh, rack. Okay. Who are these guys? The Arena Warrior and Average Joe. Sicko, the Arena Warrior and Average Joe. Okay. Fallen Hero statue. Oh, a little, uh, Gravesite, rip unknown hero, par par the old, creepy robed figure. Oh, nothing real. I'm just looking forward to the latest haul to the graveyard. What are you, a necromancer? Why, yes, I am a necromancer. Maybe I'll see you soon. That's kind of, that's creepy. So I've got two of the four points of interest. So let me get the other two. Complete this quest. So I'm curious, like, there's not a lot of people, but it also, you know, I guess they can't show you everybody, obviously. So I'm just curious how they, how they decide to show you, because like, let's, let's say there's a thousand people playing right now. There's definitely more than that. Um, but I only see at a time, you know, you only see a handful of people. So I wonder, I wonder how they, how they limit that and how that works. Because if there was everybody down here, Metaforest, what's up, Metaforest? I'm Metapuppet. Board Ape Yacht Club. So there's a, a, a lot of, in these virtual worlds, there's, you know, always galleries, obviously, because of NFTs. And then there's dance moves. That's that's the two uh, two of the popular popular things. I know that it's a whole kind of um, design style 
the the blocky texture you see it in roblox and uh minecraft um but then you have you know the more and that's what they're going for i mean this is a game after all you know it's a virtual world it's a it's a gamified virtual world and that's cool and it, it's got its look and it's been popular with those other games but it's not everybody's choice of style i know you know you have second life which has been around for 20 years and that's more of a realistic looking thing but it lacks the hype of something like the sandbox right now and it could just i guess just be marketing i also know second life the user uh interface when it comes to the in-game mechanics and the avatar and stuff like that is a little bit more complicated it skews i think a little bit um you know older um this this kind of can capture that younger generation that is in has been into Fortnite and and Roblox and games like that. Um, I don't know what that is over there. Who's this dude? Hello. It's hard not to get homesick for Taman Razat from time to time. Is it really as awesome as everyone says? The city of the future with flying cars and other wonders. Yes, it's as awesome as everyone says, and it's inspiring. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. There's a ladder. Can I get up this thing? Oh, there we go. That would have that would have been annoying if they made that and you couldn't get up it. What is this up here? Another little ladder. Can I jump up there? There we go. What's up, dude? All right, and here's a bird's eye view of the lobby, the alpha lobby. I'm going to jump onto that pillar below, see if I can get it first time. Ooh, nice. Oh, epic. Sweet. See, this is annoying. You can't, the, you know, you have to go up one step at a time and you fall in there and uh, it's a little bit clumsy to get out. Where am I? What's this guy doing in here? Okay, speak. I'm pressing E. My computer has gone mad. All the buttons lit up and the screen is full of error messages. I fear this is related to these glitches we've observed. Could be. This means that my detection system is working, Eureka. Is that like the uh, government regulators? Go back to the heroes faction. <clears throat> oh, no, I got to find the other point of interest. I got three of the four. I already went down there, so it's not this way. Three of the four. Got to find one more. It's on the other side of that wall. Ah, uh, yes. Up here. Is that a World of Woman NFT? Oh, here we go. The Walking Dead. The IP portal area. So you got Adidas there. Blondish. Atari. Waco. There's Snoop. Snoop is just, oh, what's up, Snoop? 
Snoopverse is the only one you need, baby. You know it. Play my games. Blah, blah. So best come back soon to party with me. Let me dance with uh, next to Snoop. I know it's not the real Snoop, but I am the real meta puppet. So I need one more voxelite to complete this quest. A word of caution, if you are if you leave the world you're in without completing the quest, you start back at zero. And I learned that the hard way. So now I'm back. I had to recollect 39 and I need one more just to close out this quest. Boom. 40 voxelite. And that's it. They don't really I wish it was a bigger thing when you completed the quest, but Oh, sweet. I still got that one. So Two of ten quests completed. Now I can get out of here and let's check out some other some other places. The terminal. Alright, this is gonna take me to the portal hub. New objective, collect more voxelite. So now there's 25 to collect in here. And it's well, it just froze a little bit. Portal to missing parts. Interesting. Oh, see, it's freezing up quite a bit, actually. Way more than the, the lobby. I don't know if it's because it's more, um, you know, if there's more people in this. I did go, I was in Decentraland, and I did go into some experience, and there were so many people, and they were just all talking one over the next, and everything was just freezing, and then the game crashed. You know, we're still honestly, what, the game is not really going to release until the end of 2022. This is a big year, actually, 2022, for all these things. You know, there was a lot of hype in 2021 due to crypto going going nuts and the price is going up and it really just brought a lot of attention and obviously you have these corporations that started jumping into the idea of the metaverse uh you know then you have these og developers from the 90s who were creating virtual worlds who they're now on youtube or twitter spaces and they're just just amused by all this uh by all the excitement around this, around something that they were doing 25 years ago. It's just really fascinating to, to listen to when, uh, to hear them talk about it. It must be a trip for them to have basically originated something, you know, 25 years ago that is now taking the world by storm. And it's, you know, same, but different, I guess they were ahead of their time. And then, you know, you needed other aspects to catch up. Like, they didn't have a way, like a peer-to-peer, -peer, you know, uh, economy, way to transfer money. There wasn't PayPal or anything back then. So the other technologies had to come along and catch up into where now with blockchain, you can own the NFTs that are in the game. You can be a part of the game. That's the whole play to earn revolution going on. All right, let's check out this color code here. Hi, the color code is easy, right? You have to match the digits to the colors. All right, so... It says, be observant and find the correct code using the colors. Okay. One, three, two. Um, first digit, four. Skip this if you don't want to know the code. Second digit, one. So blue. Third digit, purple. So one. Fourth digit is green, which is three. Fifth digit yellow, which is two. Correct. Good game. This one was easy. It will be a lot more difficult in other lands. All right. So three of 10 quests completed. All right. I just got the rest of the voxel life for here. So now four of 10 quests completed. And again, the alpha pass raffle is on Thursday, March 31st at 7 p.m. UTC. So... You've got this month to uh, to get in here and to explore, do some quests. I'm trying to speak to this gorilla, but he's not pressing E. 
He's pointing to his mouth. Does he want me to feed him? Do I have to, like, give him a banana? I'll keep my eyes open for some bananas. Snoop Dogg foreplay. Snoop Dogg is hosting a party of century, and you're invited. And this experience is not yet available. All right. Fortress of Blood Souls. Not yet available. Villa Deluxe, a beautiful luxury home awaits. Not yet available. And this not yet available. But I mean, it's a slow rollout. They'll be rolling out different experiences on different days. So if everything was just open and, and worked, you know, everything just came open right now, then i um, sure there would be a lot of people who would be annoyed because there'd be glitches and all that. So they got to roll it out. I understand that. Back in the lobby. See, why does it say collect voxelite again? It says find voxelite scattered across the land, zero or 40. Uh, that might probably just because I have four of 10 quests completed. So clearly I've done that. So these are maybe these are some of the kinks that are being worked out. Like that little um, collect vox light box, it shouldn't pop up again if you've if if you've completed the quest. By freezing some of your ensign, you can earn yield over time. Thanks, buddy. But the ticker is counting. If I if I go over a voxelite, it is counting up to forty again. But um, I don't think you're gonna, you're gonna get anything, and I'm not doing it again. So, all right, let's check out. Yeah, there's nothing in here, Smurfs. Smiling Smurf. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is right next to the Smurfs. How are you going to do that? How are you going to put Smiling Smurf right next to a, an impaled zombie? Look at that. I mean, space it out a little bit. Oh my God. And this, look at that one writhing around on the floor right next to Smiling Smurf. And Smiling Smurf doesn't care. He's like, not my world. Snoop Dogg, experience not yet available. Club XYZ is open. So that that one's... I think that might be the only one that's open right now as of the time of this video. And Care Bears too. Care Bears and Smurfs surround the, the Walking Dead zombies. That's weird. Atari, come back soon to meet us. I'll have to look um I'll have to look at the dates of when they're going to be available. In the alpha here, you can see the lobby. Um there's me. There's my quest completed. So I've got 4 out of 10. Click see rewards and let's see what that does. Level 1 um raffle tickets, 4 out of 10 quests. So I have to complete the quest to get 30. Raffle starts in 27 days. There's the stake. So this is like a rewards dashboard here. How to get the season two alpha pass. Quests, play, stake, get NFTs. So it shows you how to get those passes. And you can see right here, um, Okay, so this is, and it tells you the release date. So Snoop Dogg's foreplay releases March 11th. So those, all these ones are not yet available. Club XYZ, zero of two quests complete. Alpha Lobby, I've got those quests completed. 
the portal hub i've got those completed these are not released yet so it looks like there's only alpha lobby portal hub and club xyz that are available right now on day one so zero of two quests completed there i should probably go there and check that out i'm sure one of them is there's going to be a box of light quests in each place i i assume so club xyz right from here you can go and play open in the sandbox all right here we are in club xyz see everybody dropping on my head collect voxelites there's 25 of them here i see them down there can you oh, okay look at papa smurf i'm very happy the smurfs are here again i just when i see the smurfs i just want to dance with them you know i gotta get some more moves i, I wonder if you can um you know if you have to buy dance moves like nfts i'm assuming you have to I see all these voxelites down beneath me. Center stage right here. Yeah, I think the clubs are the are the most fun thing right now. In any virtual world, it's just people getting together and and uh, you know having a party virtually. That's the important thing is the community of people. That's where the most fun is going to happen in the real world. Have you ever gone to a, a club that's empty? It doesn't matter how it could be the greatest club in the world when there's nobody there. What's the point? It can be the worst club in the world, but if everybody showed up, you'd have a great time. It's just it's just the people. And I think whether it's the central land, whether it's the sandbox, whether it's second life, whether it's something that is not yet built people are going to value the world not for the game mechanics not for the avatars those things are all secondary to the community that's there so i think that's going to be it for this video i highly recommend checking out the sandbox it's available now on pc and mac it's free sign up create an avatar and just explore the world it's pretty cool. There's fun things going on. Um, and they're going to be expanding every day. There's going to be more experiences tomorrow than there were today. And that's it. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. And I'll see you in the future.